What's up, everybody? So, I got asked to do a very basic... Hold on. A very basic uh, question. They asked me if I'd do a video on it. So, I have a guy that cannot figure out how to... Hold on. Here's my Weebacker string. I use Ugly Line. It's so far the second year using it. It's been the best. I really only used it, but out of everything out there I've tried, little sample packs, this has been by far I like it. But a guy asked me, all for safety glasses when you do use the weed wrecker. I don't, but I should. The guy asked me, how do you reload a head on a steel weed wrecker? To us and to a lot of people, it can be very easy, like simple. Some people don't understand it. So I thought I'd just do a real quick video. I ran out. <coughs> this was a while ago he asked me, I never really did a video on it. But here's your head. No, um, where's the other one? I'm going to show you my other weed black I don't have it with me. But you have this, this goes inside of your head. Okay? So hold on. What you do is, on the back, there's arrows, and you can see them, and it shows like a hook, and then it wraps around this way, a hook, and it wraps around this way. Right where these hooks are, are the holes. So, you get string, I always found three, I always found three arm links is the best like it works perfect for it it fits it perfect so what I do is I go I take string and I go from my arm to my shoulder so one two three let's do it again one Two, three. Hold on. Oh, you got that? Where you got that? Where you got that? Can you see me? Trying to find a good lighting in here. My trailer is kind of dark. So, with it being three long, one, two, three, and then a little extra. What I do is I always start on the bottom. Sorry about that. I always start on the the top. What you do is you you hook it in the hole and like to a lot of you guys this seems very basic. This seems like really easy but some people just don't understand the concept until they do it once or twice. And then once you got it hooked in the hole you just start wrapping it. I keep it, I wrap it snug but not tight. Well, that's loose. Snug not tight. And then there's these little links on here. Just use that to hold it. And do another one. Find the hole. Shove it in there. And then in the back, where the arrows were, in case you forget, how it shows an arrow. That's the way you wind it. All right. That never happened before. I'm just in a hurry, I'm trying to get this yard done. All right, just wind it. I got a big football game today, PH and Northern. So I'm gonna be out to that today. 
I'm trying to get everything done before that happens. And you hook it. Wait one second, I'm gonna get the weed whacker. Just bear with me. I'm gonna run. Okay, we are loading a steel. What one do I even have? Oh, the 100. We're loading the steel 100X. And the camera is like, probably has everything backwards. So, excuse that. It's the only camera I have right now. So, this is what the inside looks like. Always make sure the inside of this is clean clean it out. I'm not saying it's super clean, but just make sure there's no big stuff in there. And it spins freely. You take this, and it's, it's really neat. It's really easy too. Slide it in. There's these little little um, pieces that stick out all around there. Make sure your, your string is by an opening. So don't put it in like that because it won't work. You need your string by an opening. So it'll hook. It hooks right in there. If you turn it, it pops out. So you want to hook it. You want to hook it right in there. Then you take one hand, put that in there, put that in there. Grab the top. Make sure the top's clean. Like I said, it's very easy. To, to people that cut lawns all the time, this could be like, could feel kind of like, oh, I know all this. But you'd be surprised the little things people don't realize. And what I do is I always give it a good tug. We're loaded up. All right. Do something else. Also, I don't need it, but there's a bolt right here. Okay, you get um, some tools that come with your weed whacker. All weed whackers get them. It's the tool to take that bolt off. Now and then, if you use it a lot, once a week, once every other week. If you use it at home, maybe once a month. But you go buy this. And it's um lubrication. It's like grease. And you just take it off. Take the hole. You literally screw it in. When you screw it in, you squeeze it. Turn this as you squeeze it, and then slowly back it out by unscrewing it and squeezing it. Cap it off. Make sure that's clean. Don't let dirt go in there. And you're all good. And your weed whacker is ready to whack some weeds down. So that was just a quick little uh, introduction to how to change the head on the weed whacker um, string. You don't have to use ugly line. You use whatever line that's by you, affordable, or if you want to buy the expensive stuff, use whatever is best for your situation. Um, what I did was buy a bunch of small ones and tried them out, but I just stuck with ugly line. It's been the best. So, like I said, go do what you, go try the stuff out that you like, and then see how it works for you. Uh, but that Black & Decker, I really want to try that Black & Decker out with the, um, with the, what do you call it, carbon fiber. I'm over here fighting with it. It has carbon fiber. I really want to try that out. That stuff looks like it's going to work really good. And I just like, it's hard because I'm holding the camera and it likes to jump around. But I like to just weave it in and out of things just so it's not 
unrolling on me. So I just weave it in and out, tie a little knot. But yep, that's what I have. It says the best, but you know, all people, all weed whackers stuff that they do, they're gonna try to say this stuff is the best or decent. All I can say is you just try and see what works for you. Other than that, I'm gonna get back to work. <coughs> Triple E's lawn care. And I might do a little couple more like this because it's crazy. The little things people ask me to show them how to do, which I think are very easy, but to them it's kind of complicated. Um, I had another one is putting a chain on a chainsaw. So I got the chain and we're gonna put that on. But that's in another one. So I'll talk to you later. Trivial Hunk here. I'm out.